Previously on High School Mystery Messages, Anna continued texting with Molly. Out of concern, Keith informed Principal Mr. Markson while Tobias told someone else. It all made Anna annoyed. After talking with them, Anna got the boys sincere apologies and then decided to reconcile with them. Anna's life seemed to be back to normal for a while. In the first football game of Grizzlies, she and her cheerleading team had an amazing time performing. However, Molly's next text asked Anna to visit her memorial locker for answers during halftime. Anna went there with Tobias, and they encountered the mysterious guy again. But he ran away and left behind a necklace. To Anna's surprise, it was Molly's necklace that she had worn to school almost every day. Is someone going to tell me what happened during the halftime? That mysterious guy showed up. It looked like he was going to attack me. Tobias exercised him or something. I should have been there with you. I'm fine. And what if you weren't? Relax. Tobias was there with me. Oh, I get it. You don't need me with Tobias there to save the day. What? I didn't say that. But it's what you meant. It's not! Anna, Keith, and Tobias, please come to the school office right now. Not me. You see, I just knew it. I understand that you three were involved in an incident during Friday's football game. Would you mind explaining? I had hoped no one would learn about what happened. We did manage to make it back onto the field in time for the second half. But someone, except Keith, told the principal we were in the school building. At least the Grizzlies won the game. I'm waiting. I got a message asking me to visit Molly's memorial. Who sent it? Molly. It is possible, sir. Restless spirits have been known to reach out to the physical world. That was no ghost I saw. Saw? You encountered someone? Someone in a cloak followed us. A cloak? What happened? So someone lured you into the school building and then attacked you. And I hope you understand, this can't remain a secret any longer. It's become too dangerous. I understand. Good. Under the circumstances, I won't punish the three of you for this. Clean my office up now. Ew! Oh, it's so dirty! the floor. Great. Fix the trophy. Be careful. Polish it. Well done. However, do not let something like this happen again. Is that clear? You didn't tell him about the necklace. Oh, I forgot. 
I hadn't forgotten. I just didn't want to turn it over. The necklace sat in my pocket. I remembered seeing it around Molly's neck every day at school. Now looking back, she always seemed so sad. What happened to her was bad enough already. To turn over her necklace to the authorities seemed cruel. She wouldn't want that, would she? I doubt it's important anyway. Hmm. All students, please report to the auditorium for an important announcement. Here it comes again. Let's go. Design the stage. everyone. I have something very serious to discuss with you today. You might have heard rumors that one of your fellow students is receiving strange messages. These messages claim to be from Molly Marks, who recently passed away. Not only is this a cruel trick to play, it is also disrespectful to Molly's memory. I am appalled that any of you would do such a horrible thing. What's worse is that during the football game, the student in question was nearly attacked. This is not a game. It is not funny. If you know anything about these messages, I implore you to come forward. And if whoever is responsible persists with this distasteful prank, we will find out who it is and you will surely be expelled. <laughs> Please, stop this before it goes any further. <clears throat> However, I also have a piece of good news. Homecoming is quickly approaching, and we will need a homecoming king and queen. If you are interested, please put your name on the ballot before the end of the week. Elections will be held in the weeks ahead. Thank you. You may return to your classes now. Where's Keith? I don't know. Were you attacked? Don't tell me your ghost friend is tired of you now. I can tell you care so much. No, I don't. What can be more important than homecoming party? Dating with the other? Poor Keith. Anyway, I don't want to waste my time on you. Walking alone together through the dark corridors of our school last week. It was quite pleasant. You 
you have weird ideas of what makes a good date. I said nothing about a date. What was it Katie said? I was two-time Keith with Tobias? As far as I know, we are all just friends. But what if he felt something different? How would Tobias even show romantic interest in someone? Knowing him, it could be anything. How would you feel about a date? I... that is to say... It is true that... It would not be... Bad. So... You're interested then? I... 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 Hey guys, what are you talking about? Hey Keith, where did you go? Look at this! I went to put my name on the ballot for Homecoming King. You should too, Anna. You think Anna should be the Homecoming King? No, you dork. Homecoming Queen! Oh, I don't know. Come on, please. Think about how cool it would be if we both won. Well, I guess I'll do it. I doubt I'll win, though. What about you, Tobias? I dare say I would make a terrible homecoming queen. King! Though hope is frail. I suspect I would be the first candidate to receive negative votes. Aw, uh, that's not true. Besides, I have little interest in such matters. <laughs> Whatever you say, dude. Come on, Anna, let me go sign up with you. Anna, see you at physics class. Okay, see you then. Tobias seemed unhappy. Great, all done. Anna, could you help me design the campaign poster for Homecoming King? Why not? That's fantastic. Yeah, it only lacks the cream of the crop. You mean the photo in the center? Of course. style is the coolest. Make Keith's face clean and glowing. Trim eyebrows and lips. Choose a suitable outfit. Cancel. Time to take a photo. The last step. Well, I. Let's work on that. Let's design the main part. Which color is the best? Great! Choose a fashionable title. Looks nice. Thank you so much, Anna. You're a genius. You're welcome. Anna, I have something to tell you. Uh, oh, I really need to go. Okay, make sure you check your phone. What did Keith plan to tell me? Cutting it close, aren't you? I'm not late. Or maybe there is something. Wanna hang out today? When and where? Practice time at the field. 
Keith and I have one day of training after the game. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Did Keith tell you something? Yeah, he asked me out. For his Mr. King or stuff like that? No idea. Well, let's get class started. Check the schedule today. football or outgoing stuff than something else. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. Sure does. By the way, do you like outgoing sporty boys than the quiet ones? Huh? Weird Keith today. Um, it's hard to say. I like a nice balance. Just like you and Tobias. Plan to find someone after graduation? I'm busy running my own stuff. Really? I'm just curious. Have you ever had a secret crush on anyone? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Keith, why do you keep asking me such weird questions? I... I... 
I just... Sometimes I get the impression you'd rather spend time with Tobias than me. Huh? That day we met the cloaked guy? Come on, you're both my best friends. I know, but I mean, if it was something more... Uh, it's, it's you I worry about. You know what? Forget I said anything. Oh my god! What are you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. I just want you to know... You're beautiful. Oh. Everything about you is beautiful. And I want you to know that no matter what happens, I'll always protect you. Thanks. Anyway, I should be getting home now. See you. Beautiful. Maybe Keith really does feel something for me. How am I supposed to respond to him? It's Tobias. To go? You bet. Want to get some movie snacks tonight? Sounds great. Meet me at the market nearby. I'll be there in three minutes. Sure. See you there. Here's the shopping list. Shall we start? Yep. Grab the snacks on the shopping list. my credit card. I'd be nervous. After all, we are merely meeting to watch a movie for research. You do realize we've hung out plenty of times for research, right? Of course. This, however, this is different because it really is research. Got it. Strictly research. No worries. I understand completely. Oh, that's good to know. Come on, don't look disappointed when I play along with you. Look, the movie is about to begin. Eat the snacks. Drink some Coke. A cushion makes her comfortable. <laughs> Thanks. We got the snoring cat. Get closer. Thanks for staying. 
And comes too soon. Yeah. I just wanted to assure you that you were incredibly important to me. No matter how things turn out, or who you... I mean, whether we're always friends or become... That is to say, regardless of the circumstances, I'll always be there for you. Did he hear something before? Thank you, Tobias. That's a sweet thing to say. It's merely the truth. He likes me, doesn't he? This might surprise you, but romance is not my forte. So, please forgive me if this is horribly mood-breaking, but... Have you heard anything more from Molly lately? <laughs> Currently, no. Okay. It's getting late. I need to go home now. Fine. I'll walk you home. Tobias? As far as I knew, we'd always been friends. Cloth, but what if we began to feel something different? Oh, headaches. Only a hot bath can calm my nerves. Fill the bathtub up. Choose my favorite bath salt. I love it. Wash my face. yet. You have my locket, don't you? Open it. Her message was true. What's inside the necklace? Clean it up. Tweezer the side. Tiny clasp. Oh, put the torn pieces together. Darn it! 
still missing one piece. Look at this. It appears to be from a Halloween party. Molly looks awesome in her cosplay character costume. Who's that boy clasping his hand around hers? Does he have something to do with the cloaked guy? Stay tuned for our next episode.